back to another uh, video here on Boreal Bushcraft Canada. This is going to be part of our uh, Do It Yourself series, and what we're going to be doing today is uh, making a uh, sewing kit that you can take out from the field and repair, uh, you know, a ripped, uh, ripped tarp, I don't know, you know, the jeans, whatever, so we'll about the so it's going to be a complete kit, very easy to make. You can probably whip this baby up in about an hour. And uh, I'll show you how to put this thing together, so stay with me. For this project, uh, what we're going to need, we're going to need a soft leather or suede, whatever, whatever makes you happy. Measurements are approximate, okay? You can make it any size you want. This one here measures in at 5 by just over 12 inches okay so let's say 5 by 13 now what we're going to be doing is very some, something very simple all we're going to be doing to create something like this here okay uh, is we're just going to fold over our buckskin like such sew these two ends over here if you want another pocket on this side here, you can flip this guy over and sew it also. But what we're going to do, we're going to leave this part open like this, and we're going to use it as a flap. And we're just going to sew these two ends over here. So, uh, tools you're going to need, you might be needing a multi-tool, I always keep it handy. A pair of good shears, you can use some nylon string, or I like to use uh, real sinew. Um, and I also like to punch my holes in with one of these uh, babies over here. It makes the job a lot easier. So, first of all, I'd have to change this uh, this punch over here because the holes will be too big. I need something a little smaller. You can also use an awl to make your uh, to make your holes. That'll also work. Now if you want to be perfect, you can measure your holes, you can use a, uh, a template, but like I said, this is going to be a very uh, simple little project, very easy to do, and doesn't have to be perfect. So, I'm going to start my stitch, bring my needle through, and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be going around and looping this whole thing around here, you see? My holes are a little too small, but... We're at our final stitches. And, like I said before, when you're punching the holes on these uh, little envelopes here, See, it doesn't have to be perfect. Your holes don't have to be perfect. It'll still come out looking nice, you know? I'll give you a close-up shot of this here once we're done. We just finished uh, sewing this baby up here. And I'll show you how I like to finish the stitch. And just put a little secure knot on the end so it doesn't come undone. Now, for the last hole, what I like to do, I like to pass my needle through, okay? And then, once it goes through, I like to put it through again. See, again once, and then twice. Sometimes I go three or four times, but for something small like this, twice is good enough. And then I just pull, there you go. And she's nice and tight. And then what I do, I take my needle and I feed it through this little opening right at the bottom here. And I grab my needle from the inside. And it's, what it's going to do, it's going to tuck my, my thread on the inside. You won't see the tag on the outside. You see what's happening now? I'm pulling it from the inside. 
blind too, so uh, bear with me. Yeah, see, I'm pulling it in from the inside, and there she goes. She's all nice and tight, and she ain't gonna fall apart, I promise. There we go. Turn that thing inside out. Snip. And there you have it, guys. So you have your your pouch. Okay. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna punch two little holes up here where we're gonna put our uh, our uh, rawhide string through. And in order to do that. there another little hole there okay now you know what I want to get a little fancy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another stitch on the top of the flap and it's strictly cosmetic, it's nothing else but. See this little pouch over here is hard because what I do, I melted some uh, beeswax and I submerged it in beeswax, let it dry, wiped it down and she's not only waterproof but she's like a hard cover. So what we might do with this one here, just to make it a little interesting, maybe we'll do part of the flap like this guy here, nice and hard. Let me finish the stitching here and I'll get back to you when we're all done. Okay, so I just want you to take a look at the stitching here. You see, it's looking okay. Again, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? So we've got our pouch all stitched up, okay? We chose, we chose our uh, rawhide uh, strand here, which matches the color. And what I have here is a, a mini crock pot that I picked up at a, uh, at a uh, thrift shop for about three bucks. And in it, I have beeswax. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat the beeswax and then submerge my pouch in it, remove it, and I'm going to get this effect right here. Not this color necessarily, because this is a different color. This one, uh, this one was a stained one, but... It's gonna, we're going to see what this one's going to turn out, uh, turn out like, and I'm pretty sure it's going to turn out beautiful. So stay with me while we heat up the wax. Okay, guys, so it's been about an hour now, and our wax, as you can see, it's nice and, uh, and all melted. What we're going to do, we're going to take our leather, we're going to drop it in. And I don't, if you notice the, the bubbles here, it's all bubbling up. What you got to do, you got to wait until the bubbles stop. That will uh, tell you that uh, all the air is drawn out of the leather and it's been impregnated with. Uh, with the wax.
doing the front part, like the flap. Get that in there. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to get myself a uh, a bigger crock pot to do this because this one here for small projects is pretty good. Works just fine. But for larger items, eh, it's a pain in the neck. thinking of just doing the uh, the flap but I like the color that it's coming it's coming out it's bringing out uh, it's making it a little dark I like this color so what I think I'm going to do is uh, dip the whole thing dip did do <laughs> So our leather is nice and dry now. We put away our crock pot with that beautiful smelling uh, beeswax. I just love the smell of beeswax when it melts. It smells like honey. Beautiful. It really smells good. Get this heat done out. So let's start with these uh, smaller pieces here going to heat up the leather and get that excess wax off. So I was sitting here with Rolo and we decided to go ahead and make another little black pouch and what I did I went ahead and I uh, got myself a little antler button that I've you know I had antlers and I just cut them but the sides I drilled a couple of holes and uh, this one here will be a, uh, a little Altoids tin uh, pouch no, no, roll. That's not. That is not a cookie. And uh, we're gonna patch this thing up together. So we're sit down. Get down. Get down. Come on. Rollo, what do you want? Leave me alone. What do you want? Get out of here. You know you eat your food already. Okay, so what we did here on the uh, other pouch, I dipped just half of the uh, of the flap in the wax, so it can harden a bit. And now I'm just gonna heat it up, remove the excess wax. As you can see, guys, pretty easy. You see, we got uh, we got a buildup of wax over here, right over here and over here, whatever. That's all gonna come off once you heat it up, and you just blot it off with your rag. See how it just comes off? Okay guys, so 
our project, or should I say projects, are completed. Uh, right here is the one that we're going to be giving away this month. Actually, in the month of uh, in May. It is the BBC sewing kit. And uh, let me show you what it has inside. And this is the kit I was working on before. And like I said before, it's really easy to do this. I mean, it took me all but maybe uh, just a couple of hours. Okay. And uh, you got three needles over here. Uh, and I put a, uh, a piece of sinew here so that it can facilitate you pulling the, uh, the Altoids tin out, which I will be painting by the way. It's not going to be like this or I'm going to be burning this out. And in here you have a piece of, uh, in this tin I included a piece of, uh, of waxed canvas. You got a couple of buttons and you got some thread in here. And you can, uh, you guys can put whatever else you want in here. But this is it. So, uh, very simple and it's fun to make. I gotta get used to this camera. <laughs> I put our 